What's up, what's up? My name is Nicole Battle. I'm a local real estate expert here in Park City, Utah. And in today's video, we are talking about the best time to visit Park City, Utah. So first off, if you are a winter person, you love winter sports, you love skiing, then here's what you need to know. Ski season usually runs mid-November through April, April conditions permitting. That means like, how's the weather doing? Last year we had a really light snow year and it was not a very good ski season. However, we've had ski seasons that were phenomenal. And this year, We've already had like two huge winter storms in October. So fingers crossed, I hope that plays out and plays in our favor and keeps it snowing all year round and we don't have another dry winter. But if you are coming here for the ski season, the best time to visit would be between November and April. The temperature is going to average probably in the 30s and at nighttime, it's gonna cool down. It's gonna get into the single digits. So it definitely gets a little chillier in the winter months. I would say Park City is definitely busiest in January. That's when ski season and is really popping because of the Sundance Film Festival, which takes place every year at the end of January for two weeks. I would say that February is peak ski month and a great time to book your visit. President's Week is slammed here. So if you are that skier who is more on a budget, you hate crowded ski slopes, um, then I would highly suggest visiting Park City, not during the holidays or peak seasons and weekends. So try to come midweek if you can, if you really want to kind of avoid the crowds. The events that take place in the summer, there are so many fun things going on. Main Street is never a dull moment. You've got the World Champs up at Deer Valley. You also have Sundance. And then once you head into March, we're starting to get more into the spring skiing. So the temps rise a little bit. March is actually a really busy time to ski because I find that every state is different for when school is out. So Texas will be here one week, then it's Georgia. March through May kind of warms up. It's starting to get more shoulder season. April starts to really slow down. Um, that's usually when the ski resorts close. May is a pretty quiet time. A lot of people will actually go down south to Southern Utah to get a little bit warmer. I mean, spring is really not my favorite time in Park City because I don't like when the snow melts and everything's brown and dead still. I really like when the colors are vibrant. I don't like dead brown scenery. That's just me. Um, and there are some awesome events that take place during the springtime, such as Spring Guru. So as long as you're visiting before the resorts close, then you'll be able to attend that. They have live music and tons of events going on throughout the week. June through August are kind of like our peak summer months. Now you might think as Park City is like this seasonal place, but actually if you live here, now you realize it's more of a year round destination and more and more people are starting to realize that it is actually very year round and the summers are slamming. People love to come hiking around Deer Valley, the canyons, there's so many trails. Obviously we are super popular for mountain biking here. Um, so summers are amazing. We have tons of events that go on the summer. The Park Silly Sunday Market, the Park City Farmers Market, the Deer Valley Music Festival. There are music festivals at each different stage. So New Park out at Cory Village um, and Canyons Village as well during the summer. So tons of opportunities to listen to mountain town music around town and people love to patio dine on Main Street. There's also the Park City Food and Wine Festival, the Tour of Utah, and the Park City Arts Festival that takes place during these months. September through November, so fall. So as summer is winding down right after Labor Day, we start to feel the change of fall coming about. So the best time to go leaf peeping, so to go check out the leaves is September 15th, through the end of September. That is when they are at their ultimate high. If you could book a trip out here just to see the leaves, I would say get out here the week of like September 20th because this year they were just phenomenal. Utah was showing off. It was putting on such a show. It was absolutely gorgeous. I've lived here forever and this, I don't ever remember the leaves being this vibrant and gorgeous. Now, sometimes, usually like the first two weeks of October, the leaves will still be there, but then they start to fall. And then we could actually start getting some early season snowfall like now. So some cool events that take place in the fall time, Halloween on Main Street, you've got to bring your dog, you've got to dress up. There's also Autumn Aloft, which is a huge hot air balloon festival. Sometimes the weather uh, won't permit and they can't launch. So there's been actually a few seasons where they weren't able to do Autumn Aloft, but man, 
If you can come and visit and see those balloons in the air, hot air balloons are so cool. It is a really good time. And then there's also Oktoberfest, but you have to go up to Snowbird for that, which isn't too far of a drive. So now you know Park City and the best time to visit and some of the events that are happening and the fun things to do during each of the months here. If you liked this video, make sure you smash the like button and please check out more videos of Park City and real estate on my channel. I have a huge library of awesome, useful and helpful content for you.